Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lara Trump Wanted for Questioning. I'm excited for some good questions today. Let's see what you brought to me. Here we go. First question, what does it mean to you to be an American? God, like, what, do we have like an hour for this answer? Because I feel like there's, it means a lot to me to be an American. First of all, you got to think back to the founding of this country and the reason that this country was founded. It was about freedom. It was about individual rights. It was about being able to choose however you wanted to live your life and you go live your life that way, whatever religion you wanted to practice, whatever it was. And so, I mean, freedom is part of all of it. And I think that's very special and unique here in America. You have the freedom to make any decisions you want. You have the freedom to be successful. You have the freedom to fail as well. And so I, I think when I really reflect on this country and what it means to be an American, we are afforded opportunities here unlike anywhere else in the world. And we do have the equality of opportunity. We are not guaranteed the equality of outcome. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the effort. But in this country, in the United States of America, if you're willing to work harder than anyone else, if you're willing to do more and put in more time than anyone else, then you will be successful. You can make yourself into anything you want. And I'll tell you what, if I just look at my life, the fact that I started out in North Carolina from what I can assume is a, a very normal family in, in this country. I probably grew up like most Americans did of my generation. Uh, the fact that my last name is Trump, the fact that I became part of a first family of the United States, the fact that I have gotten to see as many things as I have and had the experiences that I have up to this point, it is amazing and only in America could you have those sorts of things happen. Um, it's really incredible. So that's what it means to be to be an American. It's basically however you want to live your life. You have the freedom to choose and you have the freedom to excel. You also have the freedom to fail and we reward hard work here in this country. So God bless America. Next question. Hello from Australia. Oh, throw another shrimp on the bobby. Uh, dear Laura, are you visiting Australia with Eric and family? No. Ha did you think I was in Australia? I'd love to visit Australia. I've never been. Of course, my husband has been. He went back like right after he graduated from college or something. Um, I've never been to Australia. I feel like I need to dedicate a big chunk of time to a trip like that, because that's that's a big one. I mean, we're talking about a, a big time change, a lot of commitment on the flight there, the flight back. Um, I'd really have to do something very nice for <clears throat> my parents to get them to come stay with our kids, because I assume right now my kids, it's probably a tough trip for three and five year old to make. I don't know, it seems a little far, but I would love to go to Australia. I do a lot of interviews in Australia all the time, so I kind of feel connected down there, uh, down under. So yeah, I hope I get to go to Australia, but no, I'm sorry, I'm not there right now. But hopefully soon, I will let you know. If I plan a trip, I will report back, okay. Okay, next question, how can I help the Donald Trump reelection campaign? Well, we need to make sure we've got poll watchers. I think that that is, uh, over anything else, we need to ensure that we have a fair election, that there are no shenanigans, or we limit the shenanigans uh, to a bare minimum, because we know there are always shenanigans in every single election. There's always something funny going on. We just have to hope that it's not via our own CIA or FBI this time. Um, but we would love for you to volunteer. Volunteer to be a poll watcher. Volunteer to knock doors. Volunteer at DonaldJTrump.com. If you want to donate, we would love to have your donations to support the campaign. You may have noticed there are a lot of legal fees racking up these days for Donald Trump because, oh, the Department of Justice under Joe Biden has been weaponized against Joe Biden's number one political opponent, Donald Trump. Um, but yeah, and also talk about how much better life was to all your friends 
and anyone you meet under President Donald Trump. Don't forget, it really wasn't that long ago where things were so much better in this country. And now, after two and a half years of Joe Biden and the Democrats, uh, by and large, having control of this country, man, what a mess they have made of things. So make sure you remind people about the good old days. Remind them about the $1.87 gas when Donald Trump was in office. I, what's the national average now, like $4.31 or something? Wow, what a departure. Remind people about how much progress was made. We had trade deals with China, two of them, with Mexico, with Canada. We had peace through strength. We had peace deals being signed in the Middle East. Don't forget about the unprecedented meetings with Kim Jong-un of North Korea to possibly denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. Don't forget about unemployment at all-time lows for uh, African Americans, Asian Americans, women's low since World War II. Amazing stuff was happening under Donald Trump as president. We need to remind people of that as well. So sign up to volunteer and talk about the good old days. That's what I would suggest. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. What would cause a person to lose any faculties and ethics they may have to marry a Trump? Oh, this is such a nice question. You know, um, <clears throat> when I met my husband, Eric, I did not know his last name. I knew that he was taller than I was wearing heels and I was the one wearing the heels. Because I know in who, whatever world you're in, sir or ma'am, who posed this question to me, you're probably wearing heels if you're a dude. Uh, so I knew he was taller than me, and that's okay. That was a good start for me. And then I found out his last name, pre-politics. And I'll tell you what, um, Eric Trump is one of the greatest people I've ever known. And I am so blessed to be part of this family, the Trump family. And I don't know where you get your information again, sir or ma'am, or however you're identifying today, but uh, it takes some guts to do what my father-in-law and our entire family, by the way, have done. So what I'll say to you is God bless. You probably need Jesus. You probably need a lot of things, uh, but I'll say a prayer for you because you seem like a bit of a sad individual. So thank you for the question. <clears throat> okay, next question. You are so knowledgeable. Thank you. It depends who you ask. Uh, how do you keep up to date with the vast amount of facts and opinions you have? Do you have your own research? Have a team? I really don't. Got a very small team around me, if you can even call it that. It's like a, a two-person team, including myself. And you know what? I, I try to read from various sources because we know that a lot of people are only getting their information from like TikTok out there. I try to watch a lot of different uh, media sources. And I mean, it would be very easy for me to just watch the conservative news, but I also, I got to watch them all because I got to see what these crazy people on the other side are talking about. I got to see how little they're actually talking about the Biden family and their scandals and really the corruption, unlike anything we've seen in American history, and how much they're obsessed with Donald Trump. So I watch it all. I try to gather all this information. I like to talk to people. If I ride in a car anywhere with, with a, a driver from time to time, sometimes it's an Uber. Don't use my real last name for that one. Um, I like to talk and get information and hear what people are thinking and where they're getting their information. And then I go to those sources as well. So you know what? Uh, you got to do everything you can these days because there are a lot of people trying to limit what you can see out there trying to censor. God knows they like to censor this show. They like to take anything that we put out there and for some reason make it very hard for people to find. And I don't know why they would do that. Um, but the good news is I think we are starting to reach people on a lot of different levels. And I think people are starting to wise up to that nonsense. And I think they're getting a little bit tired of it. So shout out to people like Elon Musk who wants a free platform for people to share their thoughts, whether or not he agrees with them. Uh, and hopefully we get a new president in the White House in 2024, who also agrees that people should have their freedoms here in this country. But yeah, that's how we do it. I don't know. Small team. I don't need a lot. 
I try to take it all in whenever I can get it. All right, next question. Oh, and this one, <laughs> I love that this happened. What is your Uber rating? Let me check, actually. P.S. My husband has never ordered an Uber in his life. And I always tell him, like, you better download the app because you just don't know. Oh, 4.94. I won't tell you what my name is on Uber. But I think that's a pretty good rating, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I try to I try to tip. I try to be a good, uh, good rider, if you will. And uh, try to just be nice to people. And um, hopefully, if they ever figure out who I am, which some of them do and some of them do not, hopefully they're left with a very positive impression of me. Because shouldn't we all want that in the world? Shouldn't that be what we're all trying to do? There should be a positive force out there. You know, make people feel good about themselves. Bring some joy. Instead of the Democrats sucking the life out of everything. God knows like they like to do. All right, well, that'll do it for us here at Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. Make sure you send us your questions, even if it's about an Uber rating or whatever else you got out there. I'll try to answer it. You can put your question underneath this episode. You can go to any of our social media uh, platforms and put your question there. And until next time, we'll see you back here for more of Laura Trump Wanted for Questioning. So I'm like a lot of people. I love to wear an Apple Watch, but I hate how it looks. And I scoured the internet to search for the best looking Apple Watch cases I could find, and I found it. Goldandcherry.com. They have absolutely beautiful watches, as you can see here. Everything is waterproof. Everything looks good with different outfits. You can get sporty, you can get fancy, but they are great quality, uh, made out of Delaware in the United States of America. And they have been kind enough to give me a promo code that I can share with you if you wanna get your hands on one of these as well. It's Lara T, L-A-R-A-T is the promo code to get yourself a discount at goldandcherry.com. And not only do they make Apple Watch cases, they also make great products for iPads and iPhones, keyboards, your desktop, everything you could possibly need. Goldandcherry.com, use promo code LARAT so you can get yourself one of these today too. At The Right View, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are independent. We get to say, Everything that we think and everything that we feel, we have no woke companies guiding us or telling us what we can and cannot say. We are always gonna shoot you straight and give you the facts as we know them. And that's why it's important to support independent uh, outlets like The Right View. My name is Lara Trump and I think Mike Lindell is a patriot. He is someone who loves this country, is willing to fight for this country. Um, I love my pillow because not only are my pillows made in the USA by American workers, uh, but they're great products and they're so great that not only do I use them in my own bed at night, my children actually requested my daughter the other day went to the closet and pulled out a my pillow and said, this is the pillow that I want to sleep with. And I gotta tell you, she loves it and will have nothing to do with any other pillow. So it's a big hit around our house. My dogs also uh, happen to sleep on my pillow dog beds. So all around the Trump household, we're big fans. If you go to mypillow.com today and use promo code Trump, again, promo code Trump, you will not only save money, but you will help us continue this show and other shows like it and help us continue the fight for the future of America. Inflation has impacted all of our lives. I don't think anyone can go to the gas pump or the grocery store without noticing that it is a major factor. And unfortunately, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't seem like it's going down in the way that we would like it to. And one way to protect your money is by investing in precious metals, uh, gold and silver. That's always been a great way to make sure that you keep your money and you keep it safe. When you go to bh-pm.com, use promo code TRUMP. That way, if you decide you wanna invest in gold and silver, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. We live in a time that's very interesting. A lot of us out there feel like a lot of our rights are slipping away. And if you're like I am, and you wanna have the right to choose whether or not to have a vaccine, how to live your life freely, and you're looking for a great doctor, 
I've heard amazing things about Dr. Sherwood. He's somebody who you should really check out and check into, um, and it'll help support this program and keep us going. So go to Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. Again, Sherwood.tv and use promo code Trump. You can save yourself some money and help us keep our program going.